another DNA test. It was all guys. She's the only girl there, and they all just walked her. And how it all involves her working at a fishery. He is your son, and you need to help me take care of him. There are new accusations that require new tests. Will their journeys on the Mari Show finally end? In 2015, we met a woman named Feliza who feared she was being betrayed by her newlywed husband, Marcus. You see, sadly, Feliza suspected that Marcus was cheating on her with multiple women, including their roommate, Erica. Now, as you're about to see, that was just the beginning of Feliza's painful journey on our show. Watch. I think the two of them are cheating. Them doing something. They play around too much. I'm looking at Erica, and she seems to be dressed kind of nice. At home, she just changed. Did she want to lay on my bed, sit on my bed, all like this? You love this woman. That's my wife. I love her dearly. Ever cheated on her? No, sir. Erica, what's the story with her? I just travel like a daughter. You just travel like a daughter. <laughs> You think she's insecure because... She has to be insecure to think you... that I'm sleeping with our husband. Do you think Marcus is cheating on her? How would I know he ain't with me? Did you have any sexual contact of any kind with Marcus? You said no. You're telling the truth. Thank you. Have you slept with any of the women you talked to on Facebook? You said no. That was a lie. Guess what I'm going to do. In six months, I'm going to check back with you all, see what you did. That's exactly what I did. And six months later, Felisa and Marcus returned. He went back to his old ways, staying out at night. And another former roommate. Another roommate. He's getting too comfortable with these women. Baby, you are getting too comfortable with these females. He do inappropriate stuff in front of us with a sucker. You Marcus, have you had any sexual contact of any kind with Riri? You said no to telling the truth. Since you were on the show with Felisa, have you slept with any other women? You said no. That was a lie. What? Uh, that's a lie. Oh, my I'm done. She's done. Well, guess what? Five years have passed since that last appearance. And now Felisa joins us from Memphis, Tennessee, in need of a different test. You see, after that show, Feliza stayed with Marcus. And three months ago, they welcomed their son, Marcus Jr. But Marcus has turned the tables and now claims that Felisa is the cheater. And he's demanding a DNA test. Wow. Are you mad at this guy again? I'm very mad. I don't understand why is this going on? Why is he thinking I'm cheating? And why do he want a DNA test on his America base? First of all, I, I got to go back. You brought him on this show twice. You found out that yes. he cheated on you on two different occasions on my show. He failed the lie detector test. How come you all are still together? Well, I tried to give him another chance. He made all these promises and we went through counseling. You know, we are married and we just try to work it out the best way we can. And um, he promised me that he was going to change. You two decided there's one thing you all always wanted. What was that? A baby. In effect, this little boy, Marcus Jr., he is your miracle child. Why is he your miracle child? Because we tried four times, uh, four miscarriages that we had, and we did succeed. And he's my miracle baby. He was the fifth pregnancy, and now I heard the heartbeat, and I knew I was going to have this baby. Right. Was, was Marcus excited as you were? Yes, he was excited. He was very excited to know that we was pregnant when we went to the doctor. He was very happy.